Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the first virtual graduation ceremony in Brown Deer High School's history. I never dreamt I would deliver my commencement welcome virtually, yet here I stand. While this may not be the graduation ceremony the class of 2020 anticipated, it has broken the mold. I read an article on the historical impact of the pandemic. The main points were finding your place in history. Well, history has found you, the class of 2020. So you don't have to go find it. The last few months, your classrooms were your kitchens, bedrooms, porches, and living rooms. Google Classroom and Zoom became your most used tech resource. Your parents became your teachers. Your generation has taken historical measures to end systemic racism. You have completely broken the mold of past practices. History has found you. I ask that you not be discouraged, but be encouraged. Continue to take advantage of this historical time to reshape our world. Show the world what we already know at Brown Deer High School and that you are the new leaders of our world. I wish you all the best as you start this new chapter in your life. Good luck, class of 2020. I will miss you. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies Of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies Let it resound Loud as the rolling sea Sing a song Full of the faith that the dark past has taught us Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Now, God of our God of our silent tears, Thou who has brought us thus far on our way, Thou who has by Thy might led us into the us forever in the past we pray sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us has brought us facing the rising sun of our new day began. Let us march on till victory is won. Greetings, class of 2020. First of all, I'd like to thank all the teachers, staff, and administrators who made our high school experience possible. 
Throughout my time in high school, some of my favorite memories have been from theater. I've spent a lot of time after school in rehearsals for plays, and acting has taught me many valuable life lessons, one of which I would like to share with you. The great Patrick Anthony Schmitz would always tell us, acting is reacting. In other words, when you're acting, you aren't just saying your lines, but you're reacting to the world that you and your fellow actors are creating on stage. I've found the same can be said about life. It's not just the experiences we have that define us, it's how we respond to them. This year has not played out as any of us expected. The coronavirus has changed many things in our lives right now, but we have to remember the whole world is being affected by this. And even though we're all living through the same pandemic, each one of us is reacting differently, and that's what makes us unique. The next few years are going to be tough, but I believe we'll get through it. Why? Because we've been watching each other react for the last 12 years. When we saw something we could improve at this school, we voiced our opinions and pushed for change. And we've been active in our community too. We've seen a lot of injustice over the past weeks, from the death of George Floyd and so many others, to peaceful protesters being abused by the people who are supposed to be protecting them. However, it is young people our age who are letting the world know our generation won't settle for the inaction of previous and current leadership. They're calling us the COVID class of 2020, but we shouldn't let a pandemic be why we're remembered. We should be remembered by how we've responded to the challenges of this pandemic. This year, whether you're looking for a job or heading to college, so many things are going to change in your life. Some for the better, some for the worse. But remember, it is how we respond to changes in life that define us. Oh, we are one, you and I, we don't even have to try. It's supposed to be this way. Like a sun shining light in the middle of the night. Girl, you brighten up my day. Oh, we are one, you and I, like the color of the sky when the clouds are blown away. So much fun, you and I, we don't need a reason why. And together we will stay. When a chill is running down my spine Here we are We are one, Oh yeah, here we are We are one, you and I Here we are And no one else can ever be I'm a part of you And you're part of me oh, We are one, you and I To the left or to the right Dreams that you dream of, dreams really do come 
friends and family, and of course, to the Brown Deer graduating class of 2020. We are currently in very difficult and unique times, and I would like to talk about this and provide some insight. Over the past few months, I believe that we have learned to take nothing for granted. Everything that we hope for or have planned can be stripped away in an instant. Now, I am not asking you to abandon hope and replace it with fear. I am instead asking you to put your energy into the present. Now that you are done with your time at Brown Deer, it's time to use the skills you have learned and apply it to the real world. As you all move forward on your next path in life, I hope you all realize that every day is a special one and that the present will always be more important than the future. Now, do not let the past run away from you either. Over the past four years, you have probably made many friends, lost many friends, been angry with staff, felt very close to staff, and many other emotions. Keep those experiences that you have felt over these past four years at Brown Deer close with you. In addition, what academics you achieved at school, you learned countless lessons about friendship and relationships. As you move forward in your post-Brown Deer life, use this knowledge to propel you forward in your endeavors. In summary, the future is uncertain, the present is a beautiful place, and the past is the greatest teacher you will ever have. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2020. The heart is a bloom Shoots up through the stony ground There's no room No space to rent in this town You're out of luck and the reason that you had to care The traffic is stuck You're not moving anywhere You, you thought, thought you'd found, found a friend To take you out of this place So you could lend a hand In return for grace It's a beautiful day Imagination, you love this town. 
See the world in green and blue. See China right in front of you. See the canyons broken by cloud. See the tuna fleets clearing the sea out. See the bed when fires at night. See the oil fields at first light. See the bird with the leaf in her mouth. After the flood, all the colors came out. It's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. It's a beautiful day. Touch, touch me. Take me to that other place and see. There's a hero If you look inside your heart You don't have to be afraid of what you are There's an answer If you reach into your soul And the sorrow that you know will melt away Cause when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth That a hero lies in you Lord knows Dreams are hard to follow but don't let anyone tell them the way yeah. Hold on There will be tomorrow In time you will find a way yeah. Then a hero comes along With the strength to carry on your fears aside and you know you can survive cause when you feel like hope is gone look inside you and be strong and you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies a hero lies a hero lies a hero that a hero What if 2020 isn't canceled? What if 2020 is the year we've all been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary, so raw, that it finally forces us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally awaking us from our ignorant slumber. A year we finally accept the need for change, declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally band together instead of pushing each other apart. What if 2020 isn't canceled, but rather the most important year of them all? That was a poem by Leslie Dwight. This poem paints so perfectly what we experienced as a class this year. And to be honest, that's what it was. That Thursday we went to school, the next day we were done with high school forever. Little known fact, that Monday was supposed to be our senior skip day, so much for that. No spring sports, no prom, no award ceremony, 
no senior breakfast, no last week of school, and it all happened out of nowhere. I can't be grateful that I had my family, friends, teammates, teachers, and administrators that cared about what myself and others were going through. Dwight also says, a year that screams so loud, finally awaking us from our ignorant slumber. With us living and going to Brown Deer, we are sometimes in our own little bubble and blind to the things that happen right down the street from us in Milwaukee. But with the COVID-19 and the murder of George Floyd, all we have now is time, time to think, listen, and reflect on the injustices that are taking place in this country. These issues have been plaguing America, but now we have no choice but to wake up. In the coming months, we will all be gone from this little bubble, put into the real world, and realize that it doesn't look like our high school experience. Lastly, Dwight says, declare change, work for change, become the change. Our class is very much accustomed to that. Some may even consider us the guinea pigs of the school. We got to experience middle school, just go right back to elementary school and back to middle school again. After going to the March in Brown Deer a couple weeks ago, it was amazing to see how all different types of people came together and cared about the changes that need to happen. But that is only the beginning. Everyone has to do their part because this is not just another trend. This is years and years of oppression that needs to end. And I know for a fact that the class of 2020 will be the change we want to see. Thank you and congratulations to everyone. The blackness, keep the keep on.
You're the engine that makes all things go And you're always in disguise, my hero I see your light in the dark Smile in my face when we all know it's hard There's no way to ever pay you back Bless your heart, no, I love you for that Honest and selfless I don't know if this helps it, but good job You're doing a good job, a good job You're doing a good job, don't get too down The world needs you now Know that you matter, 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 yeah You're doing a good job, a good job You're doing a good job, don't get too down The world needs you now Know that you matter, 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 yeah. Six in the morning, as soon as you walk through that door, everyone needs you again. The world's out of order, it's not a sound when you're not around. All day on your feet, hard keep that energy, I know. When it feel like the end of the road You don't let go, you just press forward You're the engine that makes all things go Always in disguise, my hero I see a light in the dark Smile at my face when we all know it's hard There's no way to ever pay you back Bless your heart, no, I love you for that Honest and selfless I don't know if this helps it, but Good job You're doing a good job, a good job Good job You're doing a good job, don't get too down The world needs you now Know that you matter, matter, matter Yeah, it's a good job You're doing a good job Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Deb Kerr, proud superintendent of the Brown Deer School District. It gives me great pleasure 
to welcome the class of 2020, your families, relatives, distinguished guests and friends as we celebrate the district's 53rd commencement activities. We are deeply honored and privileged to share in this virtual ceremony despite this global pandemic. We have arrived. Today's graduation signifies the highest distinction of academic achievement and excellence for our Brown Deer students and school community. We celebrate today this virtual and joyful rite of passage high school graduation as our students walked across that stage representing how an investment in education can create opportunities for a lifetime. Education will always be the great equalizer, no matter where you live or what you dream you can become. To the class of 2020, we have a very special relationship due to the fact that most of us started in the Brown Deer School District together 13 years ago. Little did I know that I would be graduating with you this year, but I am so proud of everything that we have accomplished together. You have taught me so much and it has been a great journey. Our mission as a school district is to create opportunities for our students to become passionate learners, creative thinkers and innovative leaders who enrich our world. The class of 2020 has fully lived our mission. As your superintendent today, my message is very simple. Embrace, engage, to lead greatly. You have worked so hard for the last 13 years to get to this monumental occasion. Even if you didn't start with us in kindergarten, you have been accepted into our school community with love and care as we are all one. We are Falcons. Once a Falcon, always a Falcon. So stay in touch because we're gonna continue to need your gifts. The other day, I was looking at the freshman yearbook pictures. And while most of you look very different today, and of course, I still look the same because you know the superintendent gig keeps you very young. But seriously, in reflection, change has happened to all of us. We are living in unprecedented times. And your class has grown as individuals, as a class, and now represent the success of high school graduates. Most importantly, your class has been leaders in character education, not only in our district, but presenting at the State Education Conference and even at the national level in Washington, DC. I'm so proud of all that you have done to become a state and national school of character. Embrace, embrace yourself for who you are. You are your best self. Respect and kindness do really matter. And when you lead with your nice self forward, you will win every time. We live in a time of ambiguity and constant change, but kindness will never go out of style. So your kindness might not be returned today, but I do promise you it will appear exactly when you need it the most. In addition to respect and kindness, it is also important to be grateful. In all that we do, we always need to recognize and acknowledge the people who have helped us to reach our goals. I'd like to first thank the Board of Education for your vision of equity of educational excellence and innovation. Our students need a world-class education to provide opportunities and access to compete with students from across the world. You are all on your way. Thank you to our amazing superstar teachers and staff the unsung heroes working with all of you day in and day out to support your learning and your aspirations. Our staff knows all of our students well. Thank you for loving what you do and doing what you love. Team Brown Deer is very strong. The third group I'd like to thank are the administrators and building leaders who stayed focused and stayed the course to quickly pivot to develop a new virtual learning format this past year and have been very dedicated planning for our future when we will be all reunited again someday. And I'd also like to take this time to wish the new superintendent, Dr. Monica Kelsey Brown, best wishes. Her team will continue the legacy of Brown Deer Strong. 
Special thanks to all the administrative assistants and staff who planned and organized all the school events, the senior signs, the curbside pickup, and today's virtual ceremony. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, and we are very grateful to their attention to details as our school year was abruptly cut short. And finally, parents and family, relatives, your students are now within moments of stepping out on their own as graduates of Brown Deer High School to create their own pathways for their future. They are ready to soar. Embrace and engage. Engage with people who inspire you. Engage with people who are like-minded and advocate for the values you believe are important in your life. Your ambitions and your responses, your decisions are shaped by what you hold to be true. I encourage you to explore what your principles say about the world you wish to serve in and which to engage in. I have always been touched by the love and the care your class has shown to one another including myself. Stay engaged and joyously connected to the friends you have made here, to those you love and trust. Recently, in Oprah's commencement speech, she talked about how we touch other people's lives. She reminds us the following. The most important thing is how you're touching other people's lives. The truth is, you cannot fix everything, but what you can do here and now is make a decision. Because as we have all learned, is that life is simply about making decisions. And the decision is that you will use your life to serve, giving back to others, paying it forward, just like your families and school staff and others have done for you. You will be in service to life. Because I know, as your superintendent, you will advocate for yourself. You will speak up. You will show up. You will stand up. You will walk hand in hand in peaceful protests. You will sit in. You will volunteer. You will vote. You will shout out and you will serve. You will lend a hand. All of your perspectives are yours, unique and important. America needs to hear your voices. Let's all be champions of change. Finally, embrace, engage to lead greatly. To be successful in this world, you need to be good at something that motivates and drives your passion for accomplishment. I knew right away in high school that I wanted to be a teacher because I loved learning and I had wonderful teachers who encouraged me into the profession. I had no idea I would become a superintendent back then, but I'm so glad and honored that I have. I hope that any of you aspire to be a great teacher and a great leader, as it's the most rewarding profession ever. Thank you, class of 2020, for setting a high bar for academics, activities, athletics, and involvement in your school community. Our students obtained over 87 college credits this past year, a school record. This will reduce college debt by over $87,000. Well done. Other evidence of the class of 2020's outstanding achievement is the total dollar amount of scholarships ranging from hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars. Every contribution is valued as it is a gift to all of you students and your future. I wanna thank our Education Foundation for leading the charge with awarding 18 student scholarships this year of over $25,000. We still have a few more offers coming in, but as of today, our students, our scholars have been awarded over $2.3 million in awards and scholarships. Congratulations to all of you. And finally, in conclusion, to the class of 2020, you are the reason I come to work every day. I've been so blessed to have gotten to know you and what you stand for. You have so inspired me. Now, some of you may continue your formal education at universities, apprenticeships, paid internships, technical schools, the military, or in the workforce, but all of you will continue to learn and grow just like I have. 
Learning is for life. I love you all. And I want you to know how honored and touched I have been to serve as your superintendent. May God bless you all. Embrace, engage, to lead greatly. Yeah.